For this pixel art exercise, we are going to take a color photo, change it into black and white, and try a high contrast and low contrast filter. So when you are in Pixel Art X, which is the simple version, you're going to choose your image to upload. And it's very simple. We're going to go to Adjust and Filter. Um, the first thing that we're going to click on is the black and white button, and that's just going to simply change your photo into black and white. It's going to leave all of the levels as is. Okay, so once you have your black and white version, you are going to want to save it as black and white. Um, you can, you know, write whatever it is. I might just write my dog's name, Mogwai. Save that as a JPEG. We're going to need that version. And then we are going to go back in and we are going to go back to Adjust and Filter. And this time we're gonna click on the Light drop-down menu. And I want you to try a high contrast black and white image. So a high contrast means we're gonna have really dark darks and really light lights. Now I don't want you to just play around with the contrast levels. Once you get a high contrast, I want you to also play around with exposure, brightness, and contrast. You can even play around with the blacks and white levels until you get an image that you like. If you go too heavy, you're gonna lose a lot of detail. Too exposed, you're gonna lose a lot of detail. So you gotta kinda of find a happy medium where you have high contrast, which is really dark darks and really light lights, not a lot of mid-tones. Once you've got your high contrast image, you're going to save that. This time, we're going to call it black and white, and I'm going to call it high contrast. Okay, so I've got that now. And I want to go back in and try a low contrast. I'm going to click undo. I've got it back to my original black and white version. Adjust and filter. This time, play around with the contrast levels lower. So this time, you're really going to have to play around with contrast, with brightness, with blacks and whites, and you will kind of see that your low contrast is going to give you more variety of gray tones. So once you play with your levels until you get the example that you want, you basically wanna make sure that you understand the difference between high contrast and low contrast. Once you're satisfied, click Save. Once again, rename it. I'm going to do black and white, low contrast. So you should have three examples um, in your downloads, your first black and white example, your high contrast, and your low contrast. You're going to need all three examples for today's assignment.